I've figured out how to connect any console application to the internet. Writing a console application in any programming language is relatively straightforward. As a matter of fact, the first program you write in any programming language is probably a Hello World program. But what if I told you that you could access this Hello World program on the World Wide Web without changing any of your code? The first thing we're going to need is a Hello World program. There's no better option out there than to use ChatGPT to generate a Hello World program in the language of our choice. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to use the C programming language for this one. That looks pretty good. If we're going to host this on a server, we would want to be able to open this using a browser uh, like it's a website. So let's ask ChatGPT to change our Hello World program and make it print in an HTTP response. Perfect. This is everything we're going to need. I do plan on making a HTTP video in the future. Okay, let's jump over to the server. Next, we need a server. So here I am on my Microsoft Azure subscription. Right now, Azure is offering a free $200 when you sign up. Um, so if you want to test this out, it shouldn't be too hard to do. We're going to go to a quick start. We're going to go to projects and guides. And we're going to deploy a virtual machine. This will be a Linux virtual machine. And go ahead and create a new resource group if you don't have one. This is just how you group together resources. It really doesn't mean much more of that. It just helps you quickly delete um, different deployments you might have in a quick way if you need to, to tear down everything and redeploy. Uh, give it a name. I will call this Alpha. VM, pick a region, availability zone. I don't need that. I don't need trusted launch virtual machines. Standard B1 LS is the cheapest they have to offer and it doesn't matter because we'll be tearing this down right away after I'm done making this video. We're gonna do a password User will be Seekirk. I will type in my password. I'll go for the cheapest. We do want a public IP. We can leave everything default. What did I forget? Oh, password is too short. So now our virtual machine is up and running. Let's go ahead and get that public IP address and head over to a console. And we will SSH. Type in the username, paste that IP address. We'll say yes and enter our password. And now we're connected on a server. To compile C code, let's go ahead and install a C compiler. Now we have a C compiler, and uh, by the way, that footage was sped up. This machine is not very fast. Uh, let's go ahead and add in our source code, hello.c. Let's compile hello.c. And there we have it. Okay, let's get this on the internet. 
In order to do this, we're going to be using something called INETD, which stands for Internet Service Daemon. And this Wikipedia page goes into somewhat of a description, uh, but basically this is a program that's going to handle the networking for you. And if a request comes in on a port, it's going to call your program. So I will now walk you through the configuration process. So INETD has actually been replaced on Ubuntu with something better, which I'll cover in my next video. But uh, I just want to show you how easy it is to use INETD. Uh, first, we need to get it installed. So now that we have INETD installed, we can see that it's asking for a config file. Let's go ahead and create that. The first thing to add is a new line in a file called inetd.conf. This is the configuration file for inetd. And the first thing we need to type is a name for our service, which I will just simply call hello world. We then need to specify stream, tcp no wait. No wait just means that inetd will immediately call our program and it does not, uh, it, it handles doing the accept connection for us. We need to specify a username to run this under and we need to specify the path to our executable which I will place in slash usr slash bin slash hello. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's copy hello executable into that folder. We need to use sudo. Now we need to specify a port that our program is going to request. We do this by specifying the, the name of our service and the port that it wants to use inside slash Etsy slash services. Let's go ahead and edit slash Etsy slash services. And we're going to want our service to run on port 80. We can do this by simply changing the name of this service to hello world. Save it and close it. We're going to need to open up port 80 for the internet to access. We could do that by going to networking, add an inbound port rule. Going to port 80, allow, add. We're now ready to start up inetd. We're going to do this by typing sudo inetd, inetd.conf-d, and it is now running, and it is ready to run our Hello World program anytime someone connects on port 80. So now we can head over to Azure and copy our public IP address, paste it into the browser, and we get our hello world message. Let's ask ChatGPT to change this HTTP request to give HTML. This looks great, let's copy this code. Let's end inetd. Let's edit our program and paste in the new code. Let's compile. And copy the new executable into usr slash bin. Let's start up inetd again. 
And let's refresh the page. And we get some beautiful HTML. If you're familiar with HTML, you can add all sorts of things to this Hello World program. I'll add a paragraph. And all we need to do is copy in the new Hello World program and run INETD again. Refresh the page and everything seems to be working. If you want to learn more about how to write network code, here's my playlist on the topic. Go check that out. And as always, thanks for watching.